attention and the obvious places that might immediately come to mind are the likes of New York, London, Paris, Milan. Tyneside. Nah. Give it a chance, <laughs> give it a chance because now Tyneside is making a bid to establish itself among the world's trendsetters with the first ever Newcastle Fashion Week. As Ian Haslam reports, the city's now hoping to earn the unofficial title of Fashion Capital of the North. It's long been associated with culture and creativity, but now Newcastle's looking to confirm its credentials in the fashion stakes. Throughout this week, the city's hosting catwalk shows, events and exhibitions that organisers hope will help it earn long overdue recognition. There's so much talent here in the North East, and it was just really about time that we really uh, championed what was happening here in Newcastle and really um, pulled everything together just to showcase what we have to offer. Backing Fashion Week and offering his wisdom to the next generation at Northumbria University is top fashion designer Wayne Hemingway. The founder of the Red or Dead brand is well aware of the area's style credentials. My first dealings with uh, the Newcastle fashion scene was back in the 90s when uh, my company, the company that I owned, Dead, Red or Dead, opened a, a store here and it did very, very well. And I remember it being a place where we could put some of our more, more forward thinking designs and they would always sell because there's a strong club culture and a strong getting up and getting dressed and being glamorous culture up here. If a key thing about fashion is getting noticed, it's definitely working in the Elder Square shopping centre. Live action models are changing into different outfits on a regular basis throughout the day. And Fashion Week does include all kinds of clothing, including lingerie. And I'm not going to pretend being here is a chore. Of course, being a trendsetter is no good if you're buying clothes that don't fit you, which is why Fashion Week's offering people the chance to find out their definitive measurements in this revolutionary 3D X-ray style scanner as soon as you pop your clothes. Off. So you'd be a classic man shape as far as you've got the wide shoulders and the narrow hips, which is what we would call an inverted triangle. It's really about educating about what clothes are going to suit them so that they can be confident about buying this season's fashions. Newcastle, the fashion capital of the north, how fashionable is it? Very fashionable. It's not just you've got one type of fashion, you've got a bit of everything so people can dress the way they want and it can be over a wide range of different things. They say fashions come and go, Newcastle could be on its way to being a leader in star circles for years to come. Ian Haslam reporting. I bet Ian got that piece of camera in the window wrong on purpose about five or six times so he could spend and a bit And I bet he got his piece of camera in the, uh, in the cloakroom. I bet he got it that right first time. Probably, probably. He doesn't like showing so much flesh. <laughs>